everyone and welcome to a CK2 tutorial. Today I want to show you how you can play as a Holy Order, more specifically the Hashashans, the Holy Order for the Shiite Muslims. Now they are actually landed in some later start dates. If you go for, uh, or if you go and click on the Third Crusade, you can actually see the Hashashans landed right here. They are also known as the Fidean. Now um, they hold two provinces and a duchy. Um, but the thing is, if you want to go ahead and place them, you can't because you're apparently not allowed to place Holy Orders. However, you can use some console commands to get around this. So uh, we're going to go back to the Alexiad and now you have to manually go forward eight years until 1089 because that is when uh, the Hashashans actually spawn in CK2. So let's go ahead. You can basically pick any character you want uh, because you're not going to be playing as that character anyways. But I would just go ahead and uh, go for this gentleman right here by Gilan Shah of Dailam because this is the province where the Hashashans will spawn and it just kind of makes sense. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to press uh, play um, and the, the rules don't really matter. You can obviously set them, but uh, for this, for the purpose of this, uh, yeah, it doesn't actually matter. So, anyways, we're gonna get right in, close everything. Uh, so, we're in this province right now. We're playing as this gentleman, and you can see that there is currently, uh, well, two holding slots, but this holding slot in particular is currently open. Now, this is the slot for Alamut, and uh, in a couple of days, we will actually get an event that will spawn in the Hashashans. But before that happens, I would like to show you one thing. Obviously, you can, uh, with the new Monks and Mystics DLC, you can have a look at societies, and um, you can list all of the known societies. Now, one that is very important in particular are the Assassins, because they are basically the Hashashan Holy Order, and uh, they actually have a very nice... They work, they work very nice together with the Hashashan Holy Order, which is actually why I want to show you how you can play as them. Um, so, um, basically, any ruler has to show interest in the Assassins and then do a number of things in order to, first of all, get into the Secret Society, and later on, you actually have to work your way up several ranks. This works the same for any uh, Secret Society, but... If you play as the Hashashans, you have some extra bonuses that I would like to show you right now. So we'll go forward. Um, as you can see, there is no holding just yet. We'll go forward. We should get an event. Uh, actually, let's go forward a little bit faster just so we can speed up the, that process. We might have to wait a month. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, so there we are. You can see the Mosque of Alamut has now spawned in. The Assassins have been born. Word is spreading that a Shia missionary has founded a religious order known as the Hashashans somewhere in Western Persia. So, you can read the rest, but this is uh, just meant as a tutorial, so I'll just skip this. But now it's important, these next steps are important. First of all, what you need to do, what I believe I have already done, actually, never mind, you need to type in the char info, because then you can actually get some more info about these characters. Then you want to click on this gentleman, he's the Grand Headmaster of the Fidean, uh, which is basically the Hashashin uh, Holy Order. He's also known, he also has a flag as ha Hassan the Assassin, which is kind of cool. But yeah, basically what you want to do right now is uh, type in give underscore title, then you type in C underscore Dailam, which means you will give the, give away the title, the County of Dailam, and you will give that to this gentleman right here. So we're going to give, uh, we'll type in his ID, 5049 Two zero. There we are. Press enter, and now, uh, yeah, uh, this happened. But now this gentleman is independent. Uh, well, he was independent before, but now he can actually see it on the map. He holds this county. Now you still have one, so your game is not over, which is uh, kind of important. Um, and what you're gonna do now is type in one more thing. Uh, oops. Type in one more thing. Type in play, and then the character ID of this gentleman once again. Uh, there we are, and now you're playing as the Grand Headmaster Hassan of the Fidane. Now here's the clue though, if we have a look at the Secret Societies now, we are already part of the Assassins, and not just that, we didn't start off as an adherent, we actually start off as a propagandist, and even more importantly, we're the current heir to the, uh, to the Assassins, which is really, really amazing. And here's the thing, I will show this to you, uh, whenever you die, whenever your character uh, dies, you um, you are immediately put on this rank again. You're never lower, um, which 
you know, might be boring for people who want to work their way up. But for the series I want to do, this is amazing because all you have to do is kill this person and you're immediately the ruler or the, the leader of this society and you get all of the great, um, uh, well, options that are associated with it. So this is how you become uh, the headmaster of the assassin and you can also play as the holy order. Now, another uh, cool perk is that you can raise the holy orders, the Fidane. You can raise these men yourself. They're not, you know, very powerful, but I think they will grow in strength as time goes on. So this is really nice and now you can help all of the Shiite Muslims to conquer the world. At least that is what I'm going to be doing in my Let's Play. Um, I hope that was that was helpful to you and I hope that explains how I have been able to play as the Holy Order. I guess one more thing I would like to show you is that I could actually kill myself off and continue to live. Because one thing that you can't do as this gentleman, you cannot marry because you are obviously part of a holy order. So let me quickly grab the save because I would actually like to, uh, I would actually like to get this. Um, let's, let's just say this is the assassins. Um, so basically, if you now type in and kill yourself, right? Because you don't, you don't have any heir of your dynasty, uh, you can still continue playing. So we'll kill ourselves 504920. And we're dead now, uh, but we can continue playing. However, this person that we're playing right now is actually lowborn, which is really insane. I like that. But once again, we can have a look here, and we are still propagandist. We are not the heir, though, because I'm actually not entirely sure. We don't have enough score. Someone has a bit more score than we do, but we actually get a bonus because we have the title of the Fidean. So. Yeah, this is amazing. We are not yet the heir, but still we're pretty high up on the ranks and we have a lot of the bonuses already, which is kind of cool. So this is basically what I'm going to be using. And I hope that, uh, yeah, I hope this helped you. And I hope that you will also join me in my Let's Play series. Anyways, that was it. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.